Hello everyone, this is Mike Check 95 and I'm back at it again with another Top 10 list. We're still talking about the re-upload series when I revamped the channel and brought some videos back from the old days. Again, not all the reviews I did back in the day were saved or recovered. I was only to recover a good a little handful of them, so we're just going to deal with those. I've already covered the films, the Top 10 films, that were kind of meh for me. Now it's time to talk about the films that I thought were bad. So here we go with Mike Check's the bad series of the re-uploads. This is one I had to be actually critically serious because number 10 is actually one of my favorite worst films of all time. Number 10 has to go to Santa Slay. As much as it hurts my heart and it displeases me for saying this, but Santa Slay is really not a good movie. It's, I think it's meant to be not a good movie for how corny it is and how dumb it is. It's a fun, dumb Christmas horror movie. It has Goldberg in it as a killer Santa Claus. What more could you else ask for it? It is what it is. This is why I put it number 10 at the bad, because I can't put it any further than that, because I actually do love this movie, but for all the wrong reasons, because I gotta be a critic and criticize all these movies. Number 9 of the bad has to go to Mears, Kiefer Sutherland. Mears is actually a film that I wanted to cover for, on Horror Fest for a very long time. We finally got the chance to do it in like the, I think, fourth year of Horror Fest. And after watching it for the first and only time, I was actually slightly disappointed by how everything turned out. And like, the concept of it is actually really cool. And I liked it. It's just the payoff at the very end kind of ruined it for me, and some of the acting was actually very bad, except for Keith, Kiefer Sutherland's acting, for the most part. But it was just it was just a huge letdown, and I was just very disappointed in how it all turned out. Number eight goes to another film that I necessarily wasn't really let down on, it's just, it's lower than number nine, because, mainly because of how short the film is, because the concept of it basically came from a 10 minute YouTube video of the same name, and number 8 is Lights Out. I enjoyed Lights Out for what they gave us. Kind of a cheesy-ish horror movie. I'm pretty sure it's PG-13, which, correct me if I'm wrong, edit Mike if it is rated R or not, but I want to say that if the rating was PG-13, that could have been some of the reason why Lights Out was kind of a letdown and just building a actual story from a 10 minute short film on YouTube they did a lot of interesting things with it but I felt like they could have done more with just building a whole brand new story what we got delivered to us was good I just felt like they could have done more number seven goes to the whatever year remake of this film of Fright Night. My edit mic, here's the year of the remake of this film. This is another movie where I didn't like the first half, but I kind of enjoyed the second half a bit more. It's just, it was over the top. Didn't really have a huge impact on me. I mean, for Christ's sake, Colin Farrell is a fucking vampire in the horror comedy. It's a remake of a very old film, and they kind of did a, a spin of it of like a modern day comedy version of it which I felt like the first half was more so f kind of following the old film I could be completely wrong I could tell you for sure that the second half was all new material thinking about it now it really didn't leave a high mark for me it just was kind of there and gone number six goes to Val Kilmer's film The Traveler this is the film probably one of the films right before that he ended up getting uh, wheelchair pretty much. First time I watched this film I watched it by myself and I actually enjoyed it for the first time go around so I suggested it for Horror Fest for the next year. Watching it a second time probably wasn't really a good idea. I start to see all the bad things that I missed the first time around and it kind of disappointed me that I missed those the first go around and then seeing them the second go around it just it sours like my thoughts on the movie and like I enjoy Val Kilmer as an actor for all the stuff he's done over the years this is definitely a film I shouldn't have watched twice I should have just watched it once and called it good 
it was just a film that I shouldn't have watched a second time. Number five goes to the American adaptation of The Eye. This is another film that I was actually really excited to watch. It was actually watched the same year that we did Mirrors, and I got the same reaction. I was completely let down and completely disappointed and just completely irritated by how the movie went. The Japanese version is probably better. That's all I gotta say. Number four in my uh, meh top 10 list, I talked about The Conjuring 2 and how it was better than some of the uh, some of the other spin-offs that the Conjureverse has created. This is one of those movies where I was talking about where The Conjuring 2 was better than. Number four goes to The Nun. The Nun had a lot of anticipation and a lot of build-up and a lot of potential when The Nun first appeared in The Conjuring 2 and when everyone heard that The Nun was getting her own spin-off film, everyone was so excited and everything. And then the movie came out, and then nobody talked about it after it did. I saw it in theaters. My review for it is more comical than the actual movie itself. Probably more horrifying when you watch Taylor Riley dump a whole bag of sugar into a bottle of water and chug it like he's insane. It was just, it didn't really set well with my brain. And it did the same thing the first Annabelle film did. Just jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Like, that ruins a movie for me if you do nothing but jump scares and add no suspense and just, or if you, either no, little to no suspense or you rush it. It connects story-wise, but skip it. Just, just skip it. Number three goes to the 2006 remake of The Hills Have Eyes. I have not seen the original. I know I probably should have seen the original before the remake, but this remake was absolute garbage. I did not like it at all. It just made me uncomfortable the entire time. If that's what they were going for, they nailed it, but if that's not what they were going for, they did a horrible job. It just didn't have it felt like the film had no life in it at all. It was just repeating beat by beat by beat of the original. I think that's what they were doing. For those who've seen the original, back me up on this one. It just, it felt like a wash, rinse, repeat kind of movie. And this is coming from a guy who's never seen the original. And if I can notice that in a remake without seeing the original, that's sad. Number two goes to the first paranormal activity. I understand that if you're in that kind of situation and in that kind of scenario with a demonic spirit like that in a house, it's absolutely terrifying. Or if you have experienced stuff like this, this horrific, it's terrifying. I am not talking bad about the people who have experienced this kind of stuff or have lived this kind of stuff before. I'm talking about the movie itself. The movie fucking sucks. End of story. And number one goes to Feast. This was a film that my friend uh, Bamf V or Big Daddy V or V or whatever you want to call him, he suggested it for Horror Fest just so that he can probably get a reaction out of us. And he got a reaction out of us because this film was fucking horrible. A film that was greenlit by Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. No wonder why the sequels didn't have theatrical releases. But there you have it. Those are, that is my list of the bad from the re-upload series. But when we come back, we'll be talking about the final ten, the good of the re-upload series, and then we'll be moving on to the revamp series, which is going to be a little bit different than these top ten lists, but you will see my thoughts there. If you enjoyed this video and the list that I've given you with the bad and also the man on the previous video, like, share, subscribe, join the madness. The Discord link is down below. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We post links on all the stuff and everything. You can also reach out to us that way as well if you don't have Discord. This is Mike Check 95 signing out. And we're not talking about these bad movies ever again.